Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Angry Cast and Hydraneer. How y'all doing? Uh, this is probably going to be the last episode for at least the time being. Um, I really don't have any reason to go open up um, Ice Helm or do anything else in the regular game. I, ju I just, there's no, I, I've done it all. I mean, you know, I can do everything. I know how to do everything. And it's pretty much been, hi, it's been sort of a guide for everybody else, not for me. Um, perhaps um, if I get the the notion to um, uh, you know buy the, uh, the the DLC for Volcolidus, maybe we'll come back and do more. But for just for now, I think the last thing we're going to do is the thing that I held off till the, you know till now, and that's to uh, unlock whatever the hell is behind this cave, uh, you know this wall in here. Uh, <clears throat> and I guess I only need four uh, relics to open that up, but I think we're going to show up where all six are at. And we already did find one, but in case you forgot, let's go back. Let's use the Wayback Machine uh, and show you where that happened. So take it away, editor. Uh, straight pieces because of the the height on that, otherwise it would have been um, probably not able to detect it. I don't think I could have gone down another one because it was right on top of it. So, um, oh, I'm going up. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. I love you all. <laughs> um, and what is, what is this? What did I just pick up? Found deep underground place in the cave with other relics. Oh. This is interesting. So, yeah, that was, that was way back in, uh, episode, like, seven. And, um, we pulled it out of the dirt here when we were, I was doing some stuff. And um, if you don't remember where it's at, I'm going to actually give you a guide for how to find them because it's not easy to find them. Uh, but uh, let's uh, let's let's grab some things here just to show you. Uh, let's see here. This uh, this is pretty much all you're going to need um, if you can figure this out. So just to give you an idea, if you take your concrete block and you stick it right against this tree so that it comes out. Uh, you know, right, but right about there, you can see that in front of there, you can go about. Oh, I can't build here because I don't have creative mode turned on. But if you go about right about to two two over here, and then go this way, uh, about nine. You know, nine more. So maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, more. Two, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. About nineteen in. And then dig down about three blocks, you will find that sword. And you might have to, you know, give or take a couple, because I, I, I can't, I don't have a world uh, built where I, you know, I can do that. I can show you where it's at in creative mode if you give me a second. So yeah, if you come out, like I said, you can't really tell because in not if you're not in creative mode, you can't tell. But if you go in front of the wall from that tree, you go over about two from that tree. And then you can see all the way over there. It's uh, it's def basically like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, all the way about here, and then you dig down, you will find that sword. Now that's that's the one we already had. There's another one here at Ember Cradle, and it is basically right underneath this machine here. But if you take and start at this rock formation there, okay, and then count out on your world. Start with, with this is one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. Underneath here is where that is at. So let's go ahead and dig. And I found using the rake helps a lot. Where is my rake? Huh? Oh, it's just covering it up. I gotta make a bigger, bigger hole. Hold on. All right. <laughs> I fell in the hole. Um, you can see we go further down in. With that, there's the spyglass. There is the spyglass. All right, so let's go take that and drop it off, because then we're going to be journeying on to another location that's got two. And then if you, that's all you really want to know about, that's uh, what you get. That's all you have to do. Okay. All right, here we are, South Hope. Um, there are two here at South Hope. There's one on this side of the plot, and there's one on, over there underneath that big, huge mound of dirt. Um, now, I do not know if these machines will dig up and kill the, um, the, the, the relic. I don't know for sure. I do know that nuke, nukes do not harm the, uh, <laughs> do not harm the relic. So I'm going to use a nuke for probably a good portion of this buff. I'm going to buff it out first because it's going to be easier and I'm going to use less nukes because these things are 26,000 coins, uh, hydro coins each. Uh, there's about 104,000 hydro coins tied up in these items. Um, and I'm going to use some of these as reference to show you because you may not have the ability to spend 104,000 hydro coins on nuke nukes to uh, get it to go. So hold on a second. All right, well, uh, that's going to get us a little bit. Um, we got to go quite a ways, though. So we're going to start at this rock here. And we're going to go 13 in. Three. Wee. Three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, then we're going to go thirty-one in this direction. This is the easiest way I know how to do this. And it was recommended. So thirty-one this way. So that's one, two, three. Four, and you just keep going this way. So, right here is 31 at this this column right here is 31. Then we're gonna go in in about nine. So this is where we're gonna get a little bit uh, explosive. So let's get these things out of the way. And these I don't care about. <laughs> so we're gonna try to use these. I I'd, I'd rather not lose the button though because I don't have that many of those. <laughs> take a couple of tries. Well, at least I didn't lose my damn button. Well, I didn't lose all my core. Well, most of them anyways. We're going to change all that, though. Okay, so right about in the small, in the middle of this hole, we need to keep going down. So give me another okay. moment. Okay. Fire in the hole number two. I really wanted to I could put all this back with the, <laughs> the wand, but <laughs> why the hell would I? <laughs> Just let it settle. And there it is. We the cross. That's one of them. There's another one here that's I like said it's underneath my operation here and it's going to be hard for me to get to um, 
<laughs> really hard for me to get to. So yeah, this one's going to be a little bit harder for me. Um, so basically we got to come out from this tree. If we put the block, if you start the blocks right at this tree and head in that direction, and you go 30. And that should take me to about here. And then I got to go down about 10. So this is going to take me a while to get through. So give me a moment. Well, that is not helpful. That is not helpful at all. What the hell? <laughs> I fell through the world. Shit. Now I uh, can't see it. I can't tell you if it's where it's at. But we were going down here. So it should be down around here somewhere. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and save the world before I blow it up. To see if I lose anything. I mean, besides my life. So, hold on a second. Oh! Okay. Loud. That was hard. No. Let's just quickly see if anything happened. If I lost anything. Oh, I lost some stuff. Definitely lost some things. <laughs> I definitely lost some some shit. Wow. Okay. Damn. Let's not do that again. Yeah, let's definitely not do this. You're going to just have to take my word for it. Here's the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> and it is very far away from everything. But you can see that that nuke is at and where I'm positioned. You know, if we were to look at it, I guess it's very hard to see from here where that nuke is at. So I might have been off, I think, a little bit. Uh, might have been to the to the right a little bit. But no, nah, actually that works out. So there you go. That takes care of that one. I guess I'm just a little worried about blowing things up or, or desecrating the land that I've been working on just for the sake of the relics. Um, we can still open the door. We're going to go get the other two on, on lands that I haven't even um, used yet. So let's, uh, let's head over there. And I don't mind about blowing the shit out of them. Because I don't have anything over at uh, Drex Quarry or the Aquifer. So we'll take care of that. Admit, these are two places we didn't even bother um, looking at during the playthrough, just for the simple fact that it was. I got too much shit in the back of this truck. Uh, don't bounce the nuclear weapons. Here we go. I still have 3 million. It was about 286,000 for like about 10 or 12 nukes. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, like I said, Mil Mildew's Aquifer, we've not really um, we've not really done anything with. But there is uh, only one here, and it's in this Tier 3 section, unfortunately. But um, it's it's only six deep, so it's not going to be that horrible. Um, but let's go ahead and purchase so we have access to do something. Okay, cool. Where's the water? Purchase Mildew Aquifer site. So, all right. Let's, uh, let's plot out where we're going here. Um, for this one, we're going to have to go in pretty deep. So one of the reference points we can use is this uh, this rock, this, this hamburger, rock hamburger, whatever it is, but, but this tree that's right next to it. If we go about one, two, three, three over, and then we got to go pretty deep. We're going to go about 30... Uh, 35, 36. We'll count it on here. Hold on. Two out from the tree, and then go 38 in. And then that will be where we're going to plant our seed. <laughs> Watch it grow into a mushroom cloud. Go now. We're gonna go about six 
Eh, six or eight, six to nine down, which will probably be about a couple of nukes. Whoopsie doodle, my f ooh, my ears. Not in the game in real life. So yeah, that's probably about a good three. So let's take another nuke out. Rock out with our nuke out and uh, see what we can do with this thing. Oof. Oppenheimer. Oh, there's our, our original switch turned into a cube. Yeah, let's just go down in about the middle of this sucker. Alright. Uh, let's just do this preemptively. <laughs> Boy, I bet you wish you could do that in real life. <laughs> I'll just wait for the smoke to clear. Oof. Okay, that's not cool. But uh, there amongst it is the goblet. Let's throw that in the back of the truck. And we're headed off to the last location. Okay. Well, that was down at the bottom of the hole. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we got it. It's down, was down in there. So... About six down, I said. Let's head off to the last location. Last place, Drex Query. Quarry. Oops. Query? <laughs> he had a question, apparently. Yeah, where the hell is the, uh... <laughs> where the hell is the damn relic? It's somewhere out there. Some adventure somewhere out there. Anyways, um, so, yeah. And this one's going to be a little bit of a, uh, a toughie. What you're going to want to do is go to this tree all the way on this side next to these rocks. And we're gonna probably gonna go about two in, right by this flower. Two in, right here. And then go over the edge of the cliff, down to the bottom. Right, that spot right there. And you're gonna go 46 in that direction. Go about 46 in from that direction. Back up the trucks so we don't lose it. And we're going to have to go down just a bit just, just to nine. Which should probably be about three nukes. Ooh! Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oof, oof. I'm still wobbly. Last button I have. Shoot. <laughs> Alright, one more nuke ought to do it. I gotta go get another button. <laughs> Hold, please. We got a, got a. Bleh. Oh wait, never mind. I found mm -hmm. it. It was only, it was way up there. I thought those were other cubes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> There's the skull. Okay, we have four relics. We had two turned in, and we can turn in these two. And I've shown you where the other one is at. Uh, and we found that was we found that one. We found that one. The 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 um the the goblet. Um. Or wait, uh, hold on a second. The arrow we didn't get because it was in uh, underneath stuff I couldn't get to. Uh, we've got the cross, we've got the sword, and we've got the spyglass. So yeah.
So the only one we didn't pick up for sure was the arrow because I didn't know how to get to it without destroying half of my stuff. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll do that offline one last time. Just blow up everything and let it go. And then I'll fix it later before I <laughs> remove the save. But, uh, so that's the two, one, one, two. That's six all together. So, oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Willy Lord. Oof. Okay. Somebody went somewhere. <laughs> so let's take the cross in. Drop it off. Hopefully this cheers this guy up, because he's just been in a state the entire time we've been playing. Alright, and we get the skull. Where is the skull? Oh, there's the goblet. So we got, yeah, we showed you where they get the, we're going to do this with the, the goblet. And uh, in this, in this, we're not going to do the, the skull, but I showed you how to find the skull. Oh, use relics to find the secrets of the cave. We got an achievement. But what did that do? Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. We got a treasure chest. What, what can we do with the treasure chest? Here, do you want it? Look what I found. Here huh? you go. You don't want it? Alright. I wonder if we take it up to the, the, the top of the hill. They'll tell us something about it. Maybe. So, if we take it to them, it's worth 68000 Well, I don't really want to get rid of it, because it's the only one I got. So, we're going to hold on to it. We're going to keep it. And, you know, if I actually had built anything, or housing, or anything like that, I would, I'd, I'd put it on a shelf somewhere. But we didn't do any of that either. I didn't build a house because I hate building houses. <laughs> so there you go. That is all of the relics in the game and how, what you get for it, which seems a bit meh. But then again, hey, what do I care? It's, it's an indie game. It's a, you know, it is what it is. We had fun. And that's the most important part. So I think that's it. I think that's what, I think that's what we're going to call it a quits. Now, like I said, if I get the urge or the inkling to spend money and uh, buy the DLC for Vocalidus, we will uh, we will go ahead and uh, and uh, do that. But uh, for now, I think uh, I think that's going to call it a, you know we're going to call it a game. And I, I want to thank you all. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, positive support for you know the watch the, the views and, and likes and, and you know stuff like that so I, I really appreciate it um, you know I'm not a very big channel so anything helps but uh, we'll uh, we'll see you next time on something we'll, we'll play another game somewhere uh, we'll get it going and like I said if something happens and I get the Valkolidus we'll, we'll come back and we'll do this again but uh, for now we'll see you next time have a good one talk to you later bye bye